بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Zakat begins at home, brothers and sisters. Allah سبحانه وتعالى when he tells us to be good to people, to conduct ourselves towards others with excellence, he begins with those nearest to us. He tells us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to not commit shirk. And then immediately after that, he tells us to be good to those nearest to us. He tells us, وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا right? Be excellent in your conduct towards your parents. And then he tells us to be uh, to be excellent towards uh, our relatives. وَبِذِي الْقُرْبَى And the word itself actually implies those, those nearer. And then... Um, uh, orphans and the destitute and then the nearest neighbor Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala breaks down the nearest neighbor he tells us the nearest neighbor first and then the neighbors who are a few doors down right so in this verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us understand the principle of al-aqrab fal-aqrab the principle of beginning with the with those nearest and then moving towards those who are relatively more distant and this is extremely important in our context in britain uh, when it comes to our generosity and our giving we have to begin by looking after the people on our doorstep and by looking after our interests our institutions the needs of our students the needs of people who can't pay for their studies can't pay for their fees can't pay for their food and so forth as muslims we have to start to look after the needs of people here before we look elsewhere. It doesn't mean that we don't give elsewhere, but we have to begin with the right priorities. Uh, and if we start looking with that mindset, we will find that there are thousands of people who are worthy of our zakah.